My name is Ben Greeno. I am the head coach of the Kennesaw State Men's Club Lacrosse team. My name is Gaden Boncourt. I'm a face-off specialist, number 26. I am the vice president right now, currently with the team. Prior, I was just a regular player. So let's get straight into it. So um, tell me about the end of the season last year as in SELC, not Nationals. Um, SELC, it was good to see that we were able to compete against some quality teams. Like FAU was very competitive, very physical, um, had some pretty solid goal scorers, and we were able to, we able to, you know, put up 19 goals and have a pretty competitive environment where we were playing really well, flying around and competing against a tough physical team. And then the next day, being down, what four goals in the in the fourth quarter, and just noticing how bulletproof mentally everybody seemed on the sidelines. It was really good to know that it was like okay, even though we're down four right now, like you know, it doesn't feel like anybody's willing to jump ship. Like we can do this, and then we ended up, you know, kind of getting lucky and being able to uh, pull it out. SELC, um, that was great. Um, going from a player to basically a coach after my injury, it helped me a lot to see from both perspectives, but I got to win as a coach for my first time. So it was like, hey, I got to see not just myself develop, but my players develop, my teammates develop, and we overcame obstacles that allowed us to become that two-time back-to-back champion. <laughs> Six goal lead for Dayton. Uh oh. Well, I hate to point it out, but uh, my prediction for the fourth was that Dayton would. I was really hoping that Kennesaw would come in and get things evened out. I, I thought Mitch Taylor was going to be a game changer. And actually, none of that happened. It didn't. Not a single goal or an assist in the fourth quarter for I, Kennesaw. It was just a. Really good, good effort by Day by Dayton. And that's our ball game, folks. We've got Dayton 15. Kennesaw State. Eight. Nine. We just didn't show up. You got your face-off specialist who goes 15 for 19 at the X, then you just have offense not performing to the standard that they're supposed to. You got defense just throwing the ball away on clears. It was a combination of everything. It was more so, why are we shooting ourselves in the foot? Because they honestly was not a better team than us, but every self-inflicted wound they capitalized on, which is what great teams do, or good teams that can become great do. Right now, 
I don't want to hear I got ball, I got ball, I got ball. I got ball. Who's back? I'm hot. Project your voice. You got to be louder than the fans. You got to be louder than the wind. You have to project your voice so your teammate that's peaked on adrenaline can actually hear you and get back to earth. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Push it, John. Push it, push it, push it. Come on, with higher pace, dude. You can't let him catch you. He's behind you. No, no. Not Get, attack him. Let's go. We'll do each goalie one more time, and then we'll go positionals. Here we go. Go. It's got to be every single day. We got to keep going hard. We have two years in a row of an example of just going through the motions, being more talented than other teams, and you see what happens when you are just more talented, but you don't, you don't fucking actually put something to your name. So we had a lot of change after that game. Yeah. New coaches. You're the new head coach. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, I do feel like I was gifted a nice car, and I'm just trying to make sure I don't scratch it and make sure I can make it run the best I can. But it's an awesome environment, awesome opportunity. The guys really, they want to come to work. Um, you know, they're there every day. They work hard. And, you know, even if we're not having the best practices, it, the fact that people are willing to show up and give it something, you know, it always feels good. You always like when, the, you know, the loneliest place in the world is where you're not wanted. And a place where people want you there every day, even if you're not having a good day, even if you're not doing a good job and people want you there working with you, it's always an awesome feeling. The team, the way it looks right now, you know, at the beginning of October is, you know, where you, we're probably ahead of where you'd want a team to be in the fall. So get an opportunity to compete against a long time, um, a long, a long time quality opponent like SCAD. SCAD's been around for a long time, always been a solid program. Get an opportunity to compete against somebody like that. It's a really good initial test to see where you're at. And then as the season goes on, right, you're, you're, playing the, you're playing the Georgias, the Georgia Techs, the Reinhardts, like the top tier teams in the state to really see if you actually are who you might think you are in practice. I've been telling y'all since the beginning, like, look left and right. This is your team. Literally, this is 35-man roster. Ain't nobody else coming for real. Ain't nobody else coming to save us. It's all us. So y'all got to be ready to go. Y'all got to be able to rely on each other. Like, it's show up or show out. There's no going home. Like, this is our field, this is our, we need to defend this. Thank you, Jaden. Offensively, let's take our time, let's actively communicate. Stop turning your head so quick when you're about to catch the ball. Spend that extra quarter of a second to actually catch the ball. The only thing I'm going to say over and over again is but communicate. Talk on ground balls, talk on defense, talk on offense, right? You have to make sure that you're on the same page with your teammates, right? Of course, hey, most important is this class one, boys. Oh, yeah! Go! Go, boys! Let's go! Hey, I'll see about you! Dance you! Let's go, boys! Hey, sideline, let's go! Let's
Like always going? No. I don't got anything to say. That's that's it. Kind of got a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>